Hello and welcome back. This is lesson three of humans versus nature. And today we are going to keep looking at things that help make our earth happy. We're going to specifically talk about recycling, reducing, and reusing. And we're going to make some connections to some of the tree stories and texts that we've been reading. So grab some paper and pencil or print the PDF that I sent you to go with this and let's begin now. The first thing that I want you to do is pull out your KWL chart that we've been working on. Today we're really going to talk about how we care for the earth in more depth in terms of waste, reducing and recycling materials that cause waste on our planet. What questions do you have today about recycling? Do you know what recycling is? Do you know what I mean when I ask you what is better, reducing, reusing, or recycling? Take a minute now and write some questions about what you want to know about recycling. Go. Okay, now that you have thought about that, here's today's objective students will understand the impact humans have on natural resources. In other words, I want you to know that you can make a difference. We're going to read, and when we read, I want you to be able to name three ways that you can care for the earth. We're going to watch some videos and take a tour into one of the Charlotte recycling centers. I want you to think about what is your role in recycling? And I want you to have a discussion. Are you responsible? Are your parents responsible? Who's responsible? So the, these are the things that we're going to cover in lesson three. For our first story, we are going to read a book called We Care for Earth. There are words in the red box that say words to know. Difference, earth, electricity, recycle, reuse, and tend. When we come across these words in the story, I want you to stop and think about what they mean and what the author's talking about. Then on this page, you see the words earth written down, E-A-R-T-H. I want you to see if you can come up with facts that start with each of those letters. Okay, let's start this story now. Caring for Earth. Caring for Earth. How can we care for Earth? We care for earth when we tend gardens. We care for earth when we plant trees. We care for earth when we reuse things. We care for earth when we recycle. We care for earth when we bike to school. We care for earth when we save water. We care for earth when we save electricity. We care for earth when we help animals. We care for earth when we clean up outdoors. We care for earth in many ways. Our care can make a big difference. Okay, now I want you to go back through the story and think about these words. Difference, earth, electricity, recycle, reuse, and tend. When you find the word, 
Look at the pictures that go with those sentences. See if that helps you to figure out the meaning of the word. Let's do one for an example. Look at the word tend, T-E-N-D, tend. Now look at the sentence where the word tend is found. We care for earth when we tend gardens. Well, I see a garden. I see a girl. She has a watering can and gloves. And there looks like some tools around her. Hmm. Tend must be what she's doing with the gardens. It looks like she's helping take care of them. Let me see if I put take care in place of tend and the sentence still makes sense. We care for earth when we take care of gardens. Does it look like she's taking care of a garden? Yes, so tend must also mean take care of gardens. Do that with the other five words and see if you can explain what they mean in this story. What do you notice about the cover photo? Can you make some connections to the giving tree, the tree doctor, and this book that we just read? Read a couple pages again and see if you can make any connections to the tree doctor or the giving tree. Are there similarities in the book? What should we be thinking about when we talk about caring for our earth and how are trees so important in this process? Okay, now it's about time for us to go on our field trip. We're going to travel to the recycling center in Charlotte, North Carolina, near my house. I want you to pay attention to all of the different videos. They're very short and they show lots of details about this recycling center. At the end, your assignment is going to be to do a words and writing activity. Here are eight words from this field trip. Collection bins, plastic bags, shipping, trucks, sorting, safety, glass, and workers. I want you to pretend like you were really there. And so you might have to watch the video more than once because it goes so fast and there's so many things to see. Then what I want you to do is describe your visit to your parents or your friends. Imagine that you come home from your field trip and they asked you, what did you do today? How was your trip? I want you to use these eight words to write about it. Okay, let's go to the recycling center. Step one, recycling at home. Recycling in Mecklenburg County is as easy as ever. In our county, we have what is called single stream recycling. Single stream recycling refers to a collection system in which all recyclables are collected together in one container at home, school, or at one of the county's full or self-service recycling centers. It's all about recycling right. Be sure you're only putting paper, cardboard, cartons, bottles, jars, and cans into your recycling bins. Never place food items, styrofoam, sandwich bags, chip wrappers, clamshell to-go boxes, or hoses. These items must be placed in the trash. Never place plastic bags in the recycling bin. Plastic bags can be recycled at many retailers. On your specific recycling day, the recycling bins are then wheeled to the curb for pickup. The recycling truck then comes through the neighborhoods, collecting the recyclables with large hydraulic arms that pick up the carts and empties the recyclables into the truck. Once the trucks are full, they head to the Metroliner Recycling Center. 